these are the parts for the next step, but I can use them to do the panel lining tutorial using my Gundam marker. So there's the way that I do it is with the Gundam marker. There are ways to do it that um, gives you a little cleaner line on some of the parts, uh, like say this one. Gundam markers are great for indentations. And let's see if this has any, so I can show you why. No, how about you? Oh, yeah, yeah. This should, yeah. Right there, kind of. Nope. Anyways, so, uh, let me, yeah, no. So they're great for indentations like, I know this has some. Let me see here, where's the ones? Like these circles here? Uh, it's hard to tell, but there is actually a uh, Gundam marker in there already. And I'll just show you a fair indentation so why it's good. All right, so let's find one. That is like this one, right? Like this one right here. So what I'm going to do, let me make sure that's it. Oh, nope, that's not an indentation. That was the... Uh, an actual panel. Ah, here we go, right here. Go take the marker and just trace along the line. And so what you can do when you do indentations like that is after you trace, just take your finger and wipe it off. And what you're left with is, as you can see, kind of, just leaves the line filled in. You know, you wipe your finger off, just kind of make sure that there's no excess on there. And you can do those with any indentation line with the marker, right? Just color it in and then wipe it down. All right? And it just leaves marker in the indent instead. Uh, so that's the good thing about a Gundam marker. And on things like... This doesn't have any, does it? Nope. This one does though. Things like this, a lot of people use uh, a fluid called panel liner fluid. And basically it's a little brush and you just dip it and you touch it to that line and it spreads across the line. Now the downside to panel liner is the fact that you have to let it dry and then you use a cotton swab with just a little, like just a dip, like so that the cotton swab itself is just damp and you wipe off the excess, leaving just a line behind, right? So you can do this with a Gundam marker, and the reason why the Gundam marker is not as good as Pinaline fluid on this case is it leaves a somewhat thick line that can be a little messy, and you can't wipe it off without wiping off almost all the marker, if not all the marker leaving nothing behind. So anyways, let's go ahead and panel line this. I don't mind a little bit of the thick lines, mostly because um, I don't have any panel liner fluid actually. Never really got it. So I'm just gonna trace over all the parts that are sticking out. The reason why you do that is actually to, have to clean this up a little bit. Is actually to um, differentiate the sections so that when you look at it, you know, in person, in a sense, it looks more realistic rather than a smooth, flat surface. The Panel liner, when you're doing, you know, the panel lining, I should say, not panel liner, 
helps it to kind of like uh, to pop a little bit and look more like a separate piece rather than just one solid plastic joint. So yeah, that's just the easiest way to do panel lining. You just trace the parts that look like they should be traced. If you find you make a mistake, mineral oil will take it off. Uh, thinner, that kind of stuff. So that's all you do for panel lining. It's quick, easy, painless. Then you just got to let it dry a little bit before you uh, go ahead and attach it. That way you don't accidentally wipe it off with your, your fingers because the oil is from your hands until the panel liner is good and dry. Don't actually wipe panel liner off the pieces. So yeah, there hasn't really been too much to panel line on this set. So anyways, thanks for joining in. Until our next tutorial or our next build session, have fun. Hi, thanks for joining me on this panel lining tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out if you decide to do something like this in the future. If not, and you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. I'll answer them as best I can in the comments below. And if I can't answer them, I may try to direct you to somewhere else that can. Not going to promise on that one. But anyways, I do plan on doing at least one more tutorial. We're going to do a sticker tutorial on how I apply stickers, um, the different types of stickers there are, because there are actually two types that come with these Gundam kits usually, and they have to be applied in different ways. So now we get to the important part. We're going to get to serious mode here, right? Ready? If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Share me on social media because every serious YouTuber needs to put a serious end on their video. See you guys later.